going back in time a little bit today but I, I do love this I think it, it's, it's a beautiful beautiful set so it's nice sometimes to look back because I think we get a little bit overwhelmed with all the new goodness that comes out and we forget to go back and um, look at what we've had before and what we've perhaps just put to one side not used for ages so I think it's nice occasionally to go back and have a look and I know these are in stock <clears throat> so you know for those people who are joining us that haven't been with us for quite that long um, then I know these are in stock so if you wanted to buy them today you could do okay I think we'll make a start because there's quite a few of you here so I think we'll uh, we'll just go ahead and make a start so we're using a Tide bouquet and as I say I, I just wanted to use something that we've had for a while just to go back and say don't forget your older stuff so those are the the main things that we're using today but I'm also using the Pretty Petals paper pads and I'm only really using these because I used them the other week and I'd forgotten how fabulous they were so I'm using those again today I'm also using the variegated leaf but I'm not actually using the whole folder I'm just using one of the cut out leaves all right and I'm using the bold phrases as well I think this one is the one I'm using I'm using some of the elements out of the um, gorgeous whitewash florals washi papers I have a feeling they're still in stock as well um, and that's I think that's everything that I'm using today okay so first off we're going to do the stenciling and then we'll put the card together and it is a bit of a different card so let's start with the stenciling. I am going to die cut it and I am going to emboss it. OK, so we're just going to do the whole set today. So I'm using Lisa's white texture card for my card base. We're going to start with a green. Now, all my colours are sort of going to be um, yellows and oranges and reds, I'm trying to get away from pinks and purples. Um, my card base is sort of a, a bit of a greeny colour. So um that's why i've gone i've tried to stick with colors that match the whitewashed florals on the washi papers okay so and you'll see why as i get to the as i get to the card making okay so i'm going to start with this fabulous summer garden shimmer this is one of the new colors in the interference inks i'm not using a lot of interference inks it's just i wanted a a bit of a darker green but I didn't want um, woodland moss. I didn't want to use the eucalyptus because it's a bit of a bluey green and I didn't want that. And this is just perfect. So it just goes to show that your interference inks mix beautifully with your blending inks. OK, so just on layer one. With that beautiful summer garden shimmer. Oh yes, I like that colour. That's a nice colour. Let's put the lid on that quickly. And then I'm going to come in and do the leaves. Now I'm going to do margarita for the main part of the leaves. But I might just add some of that beautiful summer garden shimmer um, for a bit of shading. Just to give them a little bit of a different appearance. And then before I take that off, I am just going to add a little bit of that summer garden shimmer just at the bottom of these leaves here. So I'm just going to work a little way up, straight up the middle, not the whole of the leaves, just right up the middle of the, the leaf set so that it just adds a little bit of colour in the middle of those leaves. Like so I might just do a little bit on the on those stems as well. Oh yes, I like that. Right, now then, these are green as well. So I am going to do exactly the same. I'm going to go in with the um, margarita and then I'm going to add a little bit of that summer garden shimmer. But I'm going to go a little bit darker with the margarita. Um, just so that it gives a little bit of a different colour. A little bit heavier with this margarita. I do love this colour. But I am going much heavier with this, with these leaves, 
because I do want them to look a little bit different to the other the other part of the leaves that I've done in margarita. I want to use the same colour but I just want to give them a little bit more depth. So and as I say using the texture card just gives a really lovely finish. So before I take that off I will come back with that summer garden shimmer. So again I'm just coming off the edge of these leaves not all the way just to give a, a sort of a little bit of shading if you like because you know leaves aren't one shade of green are they they're, they're several different shades of green but um i don't want to i don't want to use lots and lots of different colors i've, I've already got quite a few here so i didn't want to use too many more they're a little bit heavy there but never mind I think that'll do. Oh yes, right number four. Now we're coming on again. We've got leaves, and I think I'll stick with that. Stick with that summer garden shimmer because these are ever such tiny little, tiny little leaves. So I'll stick with that. Yep, 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 yep. And then come in with number five. Now we're starting here on a few little flowers. Okay. Now these here look like leaves, but actually on the packaging, um, they're not green. So I think what I might do is I might use a little bit of almond frosting on those, and then these up here I'm going to do sort of orange with a little bit of red on them. I think. So I'll come in here with this almond frosting again, another beautiful colour. And when I put the veins on these, it will totally change this almond frosting from looking quite brown. But I don't mind. I don't mind the brown. I love this almond frosting. I think it's it's just it's a subtle, subtle colour. So up here I'm gonna go with um an orange. So I'm coming in with the early sunrise and just adding my orange to these little flowers here and I'm not going I'm not going too carefully you'll see that I'm, I'm quite I'm quite quick with this but before I take that off I am just going to add a little bit of red at the bottom just because I just think it makes the flowers look a bit different if you've sort of added a, a couple of colours. Um, it, it just lifts those flowers a little bit and just makes them look a little bit different. So I don't think you'll ever do two exactly the same. I haven't yet. So, so there's my little bit of red on my orange. Yeah, like that. I'm going to come in with some of the larger flowers and I think what I'm going to start with on here is shall I do these white? Okay, I might I might actually do these white and do the centres um, yellow and the only reason I'm doing that is because of the whitewashed florals that I'm using on other other bits of the um, the card that I'm putting together. I'm going to come in here with my white, not that you can see it, I can only just see it myself, but when I put the extra layer on here, I think you'll see why I've gone with the white. I just want to make sure that I've actually covered all that card with that white because I can't see it, so I just want to make absolutely certain that I've put white everywhere that I need it. You won't be able to see it. You can a little bit, but so then I'm going to come in with the detail. Now on the detail, I'm not going to cover the whole of the flower. Okay, I'm going to start in the middle, and I'm just going to work out a little way into the centre of the um, flower. So I'm going to add my ink to my brush. I'm going to take some of it off in the lid so that I haven't got too much on my brush. I'm just going to start in the middle and just work my way out. So 
got only so far so I'm just going to take the extra colour out of the lead as opposed to off the ink pad so that I don't add too much colour okay just lift that off and see if I'm yeah 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 like that like that okay so we've only got two left there's nine stencils with this set and I think you need absolutely every single one of them so with this one I'm going to come in with the yellow and I'm going to make the the base of the flower yellow all right but I'm not going to go too heavy because this yellow is a is such a beautiful yellow but it can be if you go too heavy there are times when you need heavy yellow I, I get that but sometimes it's just nice to have a subtle yellow so just go a little bit lighter with your with your brush and as i've said before the further back you hold your brush the lighter your touch will be okay you can always go back in afterwards and add a little bit more color if you need to all right so now we're coming in and we're doing the centers now for the centers of the flowers what i thought i would use is almond frosting but only on the flowers because I don't want, I don't want, I don't want it too dark, but I want it to stand out. So I, I did think of rusty nails, but that's a little bit too in your face. So it's not going to fit with my colour palette here. Okay. Now then, on here, I think I'm actually going to go in with that red, um, just to lift those leaves so that they look a little bit different. So, just, again, not too heavy. I'm just going to go in with that strawberry sundae into those leaves there. And you can always lift it up and have a look, make sure you're happy with it. Yeah, I like that. It's exactly what I wanted. Now, you can see here at the bottom of these, there is some little apertures. So, I'm going to go in with red there as well, but quite heavy, because they're sort of at the bottom of those little flowers that I did. And then on my um, veins, on my leaves, I think what I might do is, I was going to go in with um, that green. I think we will. We'll use the summer shimmer. Can you tell I like this colour? So I'll go in with the summer shimmer. I'm going to take some of the colour off and go in with that on those leaves. And it doesn't matter if you sort of pick up a little bit off any other colour that's on your stencil. It really isn't going to matter. You don't need to be too precious. It's called artistic licence and everybody's will look different. There we go. I don't think I've missed any. I'm not sure about those white flowers. What do you think? think there's enough or shall I go in I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go out a little bit further with the yellow and then I'm gonna come in right at the center with a little bit of orange because I think that yellow was just a little bit because I've gone with white as a base I think the yellow doesn't sort of stand out I think the flowers sort of get lost a little bit so I've put the yellow a bit further round and then come in with my orange and again take a lot of the colour off in the lead but just go right in the centre with that orange just to make it look a little bit different. That's better. That's better. I like that better. Go back in with my orange and I think the, um, I think the bow is going to be orange as well. So I'm going to go quite deep there, quite deep there. And what I'm going to do on this little bow here is I'm just going to add a little bit of shading just to take the brightness off that, um, off that orange because it is quite bright. And again, I'm going to go in with that, that summer garden shimmer, but only ever so lightly. Sort of right in the centre, like so. 
that's better. There you go. I think that's really quite pretty. And it's going to fit in beautifully with those whitewashed florals. So we're going to cut it out. Okay, so I'll pop that on there. Oh, how beautiful is that? I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. I've only ever really used sort of um, really bright colours on this set before, but I think it looks really fab with, with softer colours. So line it up and then just run it through. Don't forget to change your plate combination. Let's take that out of there. Oh, how beautiful does that look? The embossing it has just lifted those pale flowers quite a bit and that almond frosting looks really soft in there. I think it's I think it's really nice and you can't tell that I've used red on here. I think the red is sort of it's softened it down quite a lot. I'm really happy with that. I think that's really lovely. Right, so let's move on to the card that we're making. Now these are all my bits. Let me get my scoreboard because I'll need my scoreboard. My inches side. So your first piece of card is five and a half by eight and a half. Okay. Should make sure I've got that right. Yeah, five and a half by eight and a half. Okay. Your next piece of this is all your base card pieces is three by eleven. All right, all white card. And then your final piece of white card is two and a half by three and three quarters okay so those are your pieces of card and then you're going to need your pieces of designer paper now as i said these are from the pretty petals paper pad and this is the reverse of one of the big florals all right but i just wanted to use this because it's it's a soft enough color and um, i've not used this color on the card i'm doing i've used a green but this one i shall i shall carry on and, and make another card probably use a different stencil set but you know um so yeah this was i just wanted to use this color as well so your first piece of designer paper is five and three eighths by four and an eighth okay and then your next piece is five and three eighths by two and this is going to go on that base piece of card here Okay, I will score these in a minute so that you can see it. All right. And then your next lot is four and an eighth by two and seven eighths. And two and seven eighths square. Let's go in there. And then these two pieces are two and seven eighths by one and six eighths. And they're going there. All right. And then this last piece is three and five eighths by two and three eighths. And that's going on there. All right. Now that's just going directly down on there, so that bit's easy. Okay, I will go through it again when I show you the piece of card that I've I've already put together, just to save a bit of time. So on this big piece here, you're going to score it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. So let's get me scoring tool. So you want two and one eighth and four and a quarter. OK, and what you're going to do is fold it in half on that four and a quarter line. Make sure you it's square and burnish that fold. And then this first piece, you're going to fold back on that um, two and one eighth score line. OK, so you end up with that. And then that piece is going on there and that piece is going on there. This piece stays blank. All right, so that's that first piece, and then your long piece is three by eleven. You're going to score this at one and seven eighths, so that's one and seven eighths, three and three quarters, and then at eight inches. All right, so that's your three by eleven piece of card, and you're going to fold this over here at that three and three quarters line and fold this back on itself and burnish that one and then this one you're going to fold back on itself like that 
okay so then your pieces of paper are going to go there 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 and there all right and it's only a very small mat and layer okay so that's your second piece of card and that's your third piece of card how easy is that then all you need to do is glue all your designer paper onto your card and then you need to put the card together okay so i'm going to put all these to one side because i've already prepared one that i've already glued all the bits of paper to so here's my card here's my other piece and there's my center piece okay now on this piece here what you're going to do is put some tape on the back of this square piece that's at the end okay and that is going to glue onto this piece that's got no designer paper on all right what you want to achieve is you want this piece to sort of set about three quarters of an inch in from the edge of this back piece of card okay so how i did it was i placed my card on my base card and could see where i was going open that out open that out take my tape off so make sure it's lined up at the bottom so that when it stands up it's all level okay and then fasten that down and you'll that'll stick that bit to that so then you've got your card that sits like that and then on the front you're just going to secure this piece in the middle and what you want to achieve is this piece sitting in the middle of this all right so you only want to put glue on the piece that's sticking to this front piece of card all right so again all i've done is i've flipped it over and i've drawn myself a line where i want the glue yeah can you see that i've just put a little line here because i only want glue on this side and i am gluing this one rather than taping it okay so I'm going to put my glue down and then I'm going to position it in the middle and make sure that my line just disappears. OK, now I have a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that it's sitting in the right place, but I don't think it will be a problem. And then position this so that my my line sits just behind that front piece and then you can make sure that it's in the middle so you've got a sort of a, a similar similar distance between everything so it looks central okay and um, it doesn't matter if it's slightly off nobody's going to notice but that's how your card will sit once it's all open okay then all you've got to do is decorate it so I went with this as my main piece on the back now i am gluing everything down flat because you've got um, a card that's already quite sort of bulky if you try and 3d everything it's not going to sit right and um, so you know I, I would personally i would adhere it all flat as opposed to 3d in it um i do like 3d but there are there are times when it just it just doesn't really work properly so you can try it if you want i'm not saying don't do it I'm just saying on this occasion i'm preferring not to okay so i've put my glue down there and i can get this piece down and secure it onto my card make sure it's sort of central <laughs> how beautiful does that look i love that okay then all you've got to do is decorate your other panels now i'm only decorating this one and this one and this one so i'm not doing everything i'm not doing anything on this panel you can do if you want to um i'm not but it's up to you how you decorate it so what i've used is as i said the whitewashed florals so i've got that piece and that piece which of course all come with dies so it's dead easy to cut them all out and then i've also used 
the variegated leaves embossing folder but I've only used um, a couple of the leaves I'm not using them all you've got choices to make in a minute all right so on this piece here um, I'm putting my in my my main piece of whitewashed florals okay because I just think it's it's all in keeping the colors are so sort of similar that's why I tried to keep these colors sort of really pastel -y colors and oranges and lemons and just so that it all tied in really so that's going down there like so so that when you open it out you've got interest on virtually every panel all right now then on the front piece i'm going to use this this sort of little garland piece but i also want sort of um my sentiment on the front as well so i've already cut my bold phrases and i'm going to use the especially for you and i'm going to make sure that the garland sits just on top of it not totally but i want it so that it doesn't come over the bottom really but sits so that you can see most of the most of the wording everybody knows what it says but it's got an extra little bit of interest on it as well okay so if i put the especially for you down first and i suppose this front panel you could 3d it um because there's nothing sort of sitting on top of it it was this bit that i wouldn't i wouldn't 3d because it's just with everything else that's sitting on top of it i don't think it would look right so i'm going to put that down in the center i mean in the center width ways like so and then i can add my little garland at the bottom that isn't going to overhang the bottom of the card okay so again just use my glue and then pop this on the bottom like so to make sure i get it level and then you can still see most of the words okay and then of course this little piece here looks a little bit bare so what i thought was i could use one of the variegated leaves but you've got choices now which one left or right do you want me to put on here my original thought was that one but then i found these actually in the embossing folder that i've obviously done in the past so i've just topped the color up with um margarita and just brushed over it with margarita so, so you think that one looks i mean it fits every all the other colors doesn't it really so we'll go with that one and like i say all i've done is just cut them out of the embossing folder they are embossed um but I, I didn't want to put too much up here because i didn't want it to be sort of a little bit too heavy florally if you know what i mean um i just thought i just wanted something but nothing too too much but i just thought the leaf just fitted the rest of the design quite nicely so there you go i'm not i'm not quite sure what it's called i mean i suppose it's a sort of a z-fold card isn't it but i really like that i think that's quite I think that's quite different but quite special for somebody that you know means a lot to you so there you go that's my card for today so have a good week everybody and thanks for joining me bye now mm -hmm.